brother play with Vitality. This is it. Tagged in. He's been tagged in. Misuda's been tagged out. Misuda was fragging hard on Nuke, so I'm very curious to see how this is going to pan out for Vitality losing his firepower here. Yeah. Or maybe gaining more. Who knows? I mean, I'm just, I'm so interested. I think if this is like a science project, I mean, not really science because it's like, you know, <laughs> N equals one and all the rest of it. Yeah. But I'm just saying, close to something like that. We uh, we have Config inside of the B-bomb side, and Blamef is there to follow him up as well. Cause Complexity playing on the CT side, and they're going to be put to the test right now. It's going to be a, a fairly aggressive push coming in here. Waiting a little bit behind us. I don't know where they're going. Standing still like this seems so dangerous. Config though, going to be forced out with the Molotov, and he'll only get the one headshot. Next up is Blamef looking for some more taps. It'll be Cyber to take them both down, and he wants to keep going, and he's so cool in just taking that fight really slow. Nivera has gone down, and it's a three on three. This has taken so long, though, that the uh, smoke is cleared. So Complexity can now peek into that bomb site and potentially get some kills for free here. Poison trying to take advantage of the new angle of the doors. But this is still a very difficult situation for Complexity. They have to remove Apex immediately. Apex going to spot the one. He gets died. He gets died. He is dead. But there is Zaiwu trading it back. Zaiwu still alive in this with the help of RPK. The two of them can catch him at a crossfire, and it's not looking pretty here for Complexity. Zaiwu up close, but JKS! Quad kill for JKS. Is there a kit? He's just going to get on it and stick it. Yeah, he's definitely got it. Cyber had a quad kill of his own and was looking for the ace in the pistol round to pick it all up. But, yeah. Instead, JKS coming through with a huge round for his team. Complexity barely winning that round. Scary stuff. There's the kit. Dropped in the door. Yeah, indeed. Tough break for Config, but uh, he still manages to make it out. Or at least he managed to get a kill, right? The parting shot before uh, he gets overwhelmed, which is really what he's hoping for there. <laughs> Config. <laughs> All the way hyped up. I love it. He's a baller. Oh. oh well, Apex announcing his scout. And they have AKs. and they, they have a lot of firepower here on the Vitality side. Gotta be careful for sure. Well, again, we're seeing a focus on mid here. What I'm curious to see is whether or not we're going to get these, bids, these B splits thrown in early on, or is it going to be that focus on A from uh, Vitality? Because for now, it's looking like we're going to get Nivera taking point to clear out short. That sets it up for Zawu behind him. And then Zawu gets fed up with that. Just get out of my way, kid. Takes the, <laughs> takes the peak himself. I'm the captain now. Yeah. So now they've cleared out cap. This could set it up. Well, never mind. Conflict's going to catch Apex way out in the open there at mid door. So I was about to say that, that could set it up for a B split if they want. Now that they've cleared catwalk. But it is just going to be straight up cat onto the A site now. Nice anti flash slowing things down. Zaiwu full blind, but these two smokes making it very difficult for Config to have any impact early on here. Poison gonna get caught out in the open. Zaiwu takes that fight and wins it, but a nice HE onto Zaiwu brings him down. Yeah, very low on health. The fact that that was a scout that he was holding there, Poison definitely had a bit of an impact. I think, uh, you know, probably would have been a little bit more happy to be aggressive if not for that. Now, though, they could be shot in the back. I mean, down at long is still rush, but these two people in CT spawn are living life uh, right on the edge, and they don't even really know it yet. Cyber going to get a headshot on Config, and finally he's dropped, and they don't know about shocks. He's going to go for it with a scout tagging up one, and they're still, I mean, they're thinking about the bomb site. They get the kill if they can make it around the corner. They don't have to worry about shocks, but they can't. Oh, no, they get stuck in here. They're trying to jump, and shocks will hunt him down. Big double. Man, I... I feel like they could have made it around, but no one no one had that clarity of mind in the moment, you know? You can see Apex himself with the eyebrows raised there going, what, you know, he's not even understanding how that happened. Wow. Confusing turn of events. I mean, blame if could have made it. I, I don't know. It's so hard to judge people for that kind of thing. It, it all happens just so quickly. All right. Apex also getting fired up on yeah. the other side. This is really going to be interesting now, because Complexity had a strong start on Nuke, and then they kind of let it slip through their fingers, and it really turned into a bit of a nasty match. Uh, all 30 rounds, and Vitality winning at 16-14. I was looking, I was thinking, okay, Complexity, you know, they win that pistol round, they're looking good, they've got the setup here for uh, the second round, and now Vitality are on the board much earlier on those two. And this is Vitality's map pick. So you it expect is. big things out of them. 
And maybe this is where it starts to play in with uh, Nivera playing on uh, Vitality, subbing in, is that it'll, it could potentially change things up from the information that um, Blameif would have gathered in the demos. Right? Okay. Made it a little bit more difficult to get that info, and so maybe yeah, trying to cut complexity's advantage away. There's definitely less data to go off of. We're gonna go straight into a headshot, and JK has to follow it up. These Deagles doing a little bit of damage. Nivira though with a good a double kill. He's actually gonna turn that into a triple and that's nicely done. Oh no! Config turning up with a perfectly timed flank. Then all he needed was two bullets to take them down. That just changes everything in about two seconds. Crazy scenes that we're seeing here on Dust 2 early on. That this just all looks like it's on lockdown. It's like great, that's it. Two on one, they have no problem, and he's just <laughs> deleting them. Double headshot ends it. And that'll get you yeah, buddy. Yeah, that'll get you fired up. All right, so it turns out we've got a brawl on our hands here, Anders. Hell yeah. You got the benches and the stools and everything just flying around. There's going to be a lot of uh, the insurance aren't going to be happy. But uh, once the dust settles, we'll see who's going to take this. I'm liking it. Definitely. Everything is lining up for, uh, for a very, very cool match. As it was Nuke, I thought. Um, just, you know, felt like we were owed overtime. But, um, yes, we'll try I think we got robbed there. But, I mean, complexity in terms of their firepower, right? You know, for both teams, really. But um, I think Maui Snake was making a, a, a case that complexity had more firepower yeah. based on stats. So, map like Dust 2, I mean, yeah, you get to shine. You can you can usually find some some fights that are uh, that are just raw fights without too much interruption. Great flashbang set that up for Blame F. Config with a double kill. Ooh, a little bit of a grenade. It does go behind them. So, Cyber will hunt him down instead. I don't know, three on three. Big health advantage, obviously, for uh, complexity. And now I think they should have it locked down if they can just calm down. Again, this, these things are not necessary. It may be fine, but just don't, don't risk it here. I heard one footstep, I guess. Uh, that's just close enough. Body shot is in, but it's not going to be good enough. And complexity stabilize. Three to one. Lead on the CT side here for complexity, and that without a bomb plant should put Team Vitality on eco here. Should just begin the Glocks. Definitely, yeah. No reason to uh, to to go too crazy. We'll be seeing we'll be seeing Maui Wowie pretty soon, man. He's over at Flashpoint. He's uh he's uh what quarantining over in London right now. Yes, I do believe so. He made that long long trip. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I made him squeal with excitement when uh, I said that there was going to be a rack at the at the gym there. So, definitely looking forward to it. So, that's all we want. That's all. <laughs> yeah. Just something to... Times have changed, Sam, since we started doing this. Listen, dude. Back, back then, we didn't spend... We spent no time in the gym. And now it's no just time. like the first priority. Oh, 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 that H.E. <laughs> <That's so dead. laughs> <I'll bring> <laughs> yeah, that's big. All right, I mean, that's pretty much why we were, what we were expecting, guys, in this round. Yeah. Um, that clears it up nicely. Yeah. Config has got to calm down just a little bit, maybe. Don't calm him down. Get him fired up. Get him feeling that way. Don't, you don't need to, don't need to calm down. You just need to put, just fight, just aim him in the right direction, you know? Yeah. Just, just, you know, throw him in the room of Vitality and He's lock the, the door. He's the juggernaut. And <laughs> keep it locked. He is the juggernaut. He's just going to run through those walls. Doesn't matter if they're, <laughs> if they're in the way or not. That's exactly right. Oh, Zyvu. Hoping to get lucky. Doesn't quite happen. Apex charging up. Looking for it. Not going to find it. Straight up catwalk here. No fear from Apex. Spots the angle and it's the shot. Get out of here, Poison. I've, there's, it's so uh, it's so emblematic of the kind of play that, that Apex is known for. The lack of fear. I mean, he's, the, he's entry fragging. That's how you've got to do it. And he's been doing it for a long time. No armor on Saibu, that's, you know, it could be fine, but it could also be a problem. We'll see how it turns out. Not a lot has to change for it to suddenly backfire. But with the opening kill, are they going to come for the smoke? Yes, they will with a flash, and Blamef could do nothing at all. He probably wanted to try and see if he could get all the way over against the wall so that they, could, uh, you know, just line up for him, but didn't work out. And that's the round in favor of Vitality, a second one on the board. So, again, not not really just letting Complexity run away with it here. Not letting them just, you know, string a whole bunch of rounds together. Oh, nicely done there by Config. At least takes that one. But uh, he is going to be kind of stuck here now. Oh. He's 
he's well aware. Careful. Does he turn around for RPK here? Oh. I mean, that's heartbreaking. That's just timing, isn't it? That's heartbreaking. He just was looking. Timing. He was looking, Anders. Yeah, I mean, it's you know a heads up play that he's that he that he figured it out, but can't get it right all of the time. So two to four, favoring complexity. Still plenty of money on the CT side to be uh, picking something up. So I don't think they'll be worried about that. Poison picks up an AWP, and so does Config. Rush can drop an M4 as well. Ooh, not going to. Okay, cool. Double AWP on best 2 CT. I like this. This is fun. Um, yeah, I think that's a that's a bit of a rough one. It's where Apex charges up, he gets that opening kill, but it's also Poison dropping the ball pretty hard there. You should be getting that kill on Apex, and that, that should be a man advantage for complexity in that sort of scenario. So, real tough break. A little bit of that duel that we expect to see over a long house. Pretty much the meta on Dust2 right now. What's Simon doing? I'm not liking this as a as a sign. I feel like... Uh, there's no reaction from... Oh, they've already taken damage. I think he's probably experiencing some minor inconvenience. I don't know. F, F in the chat. F in the chat. That's unfortunate, but it is uh, just the environment that we're in. Can't do anything about it, really. Um, everyone Maybe has. He to. comes back in time. It could be. We'll see. We'll, we'll cross our fingers and hope for it. Apex was trying to enter out a long and uh, and trying to see if he could get some uh, some damage in there. But he's down to half health. Nivira leading the charge. A little bit of uh, tag coming in, but he still goes down. And JK is back here, trapped between the smoke and the Molotov. 50 seconds on the clock, and he's going to stand up, try and do something. More grenades raining down on top of him, and he will go down Nivira to take him down finally. Now it's a three on three. And we'll see. The bomb is going to be going down. Vitality not uh, just giving up, even though they did have a disconnect there. They're still fighting on, and they could win this round. They can, absolutely. And talk about a heartbreaking round right now for complexity. If they realized that they were up against like 4v5 yeah. and still managed to lose it. Oh, there's the Maliani Vera. So he's got to get something done now. It is going to be the trade. But a man advantage now for complexity. Do they realize just how low shocks he is? It may not matter. He's got that AWP and he is definitely fast enough to find these shots. Going to be the 1v1 scenario now as Blamus tries to bait a reaction out. Needs to get a shot on Shoxi, but you're not going to pull the wolf over Shoxi's eyes. As I say that, he is going to get the kill, but there's just not enough time. Oh, man. Yeah, waited just long enough. Didn't just bite the bullet the first time around. Well, it's done. Yes, in spite of the disconnect, that is some uh, great, uh, great fortitude. And Cyber's just right back in here. So they're good to go. They're ready with it. Four to three. My time is picking up another round. That was, that was a tense round. I would agree. This shot here from Shocks is great. It's well done. Yes. <laughs> I mean, you definitely would know when Apex is playing CS. I don't think that uh, you the could, could share the same house. Yeah, exactly. Like the same kind of area and not know when Apex has gotten official. I love it. I want people to leave the game in that way. I think it makes it way more enjoyable. Oh, yeah. He's always had that, uh, that he's like showing the, showing it on his sleeve, right? Yeah. He's always had that level of uh, intensity. Yeah, but that flash will definitely hit them. It's a cool new flash we've seen thrown a couple of times already in this one match. Sometimes people throw this, a, a sort of a similar idea, but they'll throw it from top mid, have someone, you know, a teammate throw it for them. Mm -hmm. But this one's not a bad idea. And um, I don't know, do a little bit of damage to blame if on that one AWP that they have. Obviously saved from the previous round. And I think the mission here is to keep that alive. I mean, if you start winning the round, it's it's fantastic. But plan A has to be just try and make sure you don't lose that. They're coming long against the AWP, though. That's interesting. If they commit to it and lose one crossing the corner and just try and sort of, like, get out there... There's a pretty decent crossfire setup here. There's the one. Are they going to follow it up? Flash is good, though. So they'll get that one at least. Poison just in ignoring it. Yeah, hoping for a little bit more. Oh, what a big double kill. That is so massive. The patient that it, that it takes to not just immediately fire your gun. So hard to have that trigger discipline. Now Apex, 30 seconds. The bomb is on. Again, if they don't fight him, they cannot lose this round. Indeed. 
And even if you were to lose JKS at this point, it's going to be so difficult. Yeah, just 20 seconds on the clock. Man, talk about a windfall for complexity as well. What a monstrous round to win. You're going on an eco scenario and you can walk away with two AWPs saved at the end of it. Yeah. That's tough to beat. <clears throat> There's a huge, huge return on investment that, uh, that they weren't really even dreaming of, I imagine. So, I wonder, I want to, when Blame if got flashed off that boost at Catwalk, did he fire the orb or did he just fall back? If he, he I think he fired it. Yeah, he did. He tried to and then got chased. If he did, then they, they, you know, they could probably guess that the orb would be at least still on the A side, you know? So I feel like maybe Vitality confusing themselves a bit and actually going up against it could be. Well, that's a big round for Vitality to lose. Yes. And it's going to prompt a timeout for Cold from Vitality. Probably just trying to recenter and slow things down again, because, I mean, that just completely ruined their economy. That's a round where they're expecting to just kind of get a little bit of, you know, a little bit of fat on them, right, for the winner. They can just get in there and uh, and hang in. But now, now it's, uh, it's an eco situation where you're going to have Apex with his AK, which is great. I mean, come on. They're not... They're not bears, Sam. <laughs> they're, they're French. They don't go hibernating in the winter. Uh, it's true. What's it like in France? Is it cold? You get everything there, man. All right. That's the thing. You can you get Normandy, where it's just probably more like Denmark, I guess. Cold and wet. Yeah. You know? No snow. No snow. Sucks. Oh, Rush. Yeah. You gotta get your eyes back <laughs> before they show up. And now he's got teammates and everything. So, yeah, it's dangerous averted. HEs to land on Sewu, and now we've got Sharks with a, with a Tech-9. So not even the Deagle for the one uh, for the one Deeks. Smooth round. Smooth round indeed. Uh, and they will continue. Now, do Complexity let them back into this or not? That's the real question here. They don't have money, Vitality, so... Yeah. It's, uh, that was uh, that was a force from them, so tried to make some magic happen. Turns out uh, they got a face full of shrapnel instead. I would love a fast beast play out of Vitality when they have money again. I really like those. You just run like two or three people down the middle and they go straight for it. Right. No fear. Yeah. Like it's, in, it's enjoyable to watch. So it's worth doing sometimes because... Flame of flame of fire. Yeah. Locks. Unit range. Oh, P250 as well, so... Yeah, that's gonna do a little bit of damage. Oh, JKS. Probably not necessary. They're gonna lose poison as well. This is where it gets out of hand. So this is supposed to be a very one-sided sort of affair here for Complexity, where they build their bank. Now they're not allowed to drop anybody. So if you kill everybody off now, okay. Fine if you save three. If anybody else dies here on the Complexity side, that would have been disaster. Especially because they wouldn't, they would have lost one of the ops at that point on A. So, really, really bad. But that needs to be a bit of a wake-up call, doesn't it? That needs to be a sort of a reminder to them all, you know. Listen, stop underestimating. Yeah. Vitality. Even with pistols, they'll mess you up if you start slacking. Just play all those rounds safe, you know. That you know when they're fighting in the middle. I think it was Jake here early on. Oh, they're not near a bomb site. No one's planning a bomb. There's no reason. None of your teammates are in danger. Just keep it cool. Mavira's picked up an AWP, and inside of the smoke down there, they can't really see JKS hanging out for the minute. But this round is probably really important for Vitality. The money is uh, starting to build and look good for complexity. And the French side have um, yeah, slowed down a bit. Poison with a nice shot on Shock. So was trying to sort of duck right under that. And Cyber also going down. So um, five versus three, and this again, where you'd want to see the discipline on complexity, even with this new addition, and it does change a lot to have just even one new player. You'd want to see, like, you know, the way to say, let's let's make absolutely sure we trade our way out of this round, no matter what. Like they can, they can't just get a bunch of free rounds. Ooh, gets the leg. It's dangerous that he went for it. I'm sure he knew that that was a a, a bait. Poison knows no fear. Men fear poison. Yeah, for good reason, I see. <laughs> Real quick. And the Vera going to be picking up the one kill. We haven't seen... I mean, he's been playing decently this game, but I haven't seen... I want to see him just play. Follow him for like a round or two. Jumping down the middle, but caught in the middle of the jump. 
by JKS. Mm. Great round, only losing one. Complexity up to 8-3 and building way too much money now. This is really where it makes me wonder how is it, how is, how is it feeling to be Suda right now? Did he leave the team speak? Is he still on the channel? Is he listening along this whole time? Yeah, I'm, that's a good question. Just sitting there going, well, you know, if we, if we hadn't subbed me out, we'd probably be winning this guy's just saying. I think that speaks to the, to, the, to the issue that you were raising earlier, right? About whether or not it will destabilize the team and make people unhappy, or if, they, if, they, if everyone is on the board and they understand the logic and, and you know, and, and they want to play this way, then it doesn't have to be uh, like that. And Prothvik, a shooting gallery! They're also, they're being real friendly. They're stepping up one at a time. They're not even sort of like all going at him. They're like, it's very kind. Yeah, it is. They got a quad kill. All yeah, right. You know, Eco Cobra. What's he at now? 13 frags. Good for him. Loving it. Uh, Yeah, no, I, you know, I'm not sold on the whole sub substitute uh, angle. I mean, Bubsky is still in jail over on Astralis. Dude's never going to touch the server again until he gets off that team. So, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it's just, you know. I yeah. mean, Zipnix is going to make his glorious return here for uh, Blast, which is, I mean, great, right? Because give me the OG Astralis roster any day of the week. Well, uh, what does that mean for Bubsky? I mean, he's given up a team, a, a, a position on Mad Lions where he could be the star of Mad Lions, and that team's no joke. No, now he's just going to be bench warming for Astralis. Like, what the? I don't think so. I don't like it. It's, a, it's like I was saying earlier. I, I think I can, I, I can give you like a, you know, a, a three sentence argument why the logic makes sense, but actually having it in reality is just something completely different, right? Sure. Like you can easily be like, hey, you can do that and that, and it's great, but it might not work out that way in a Oh my God, the timing here, they're still waiting for him. And he's gonna close check it. Config probably could have swung, but yeah, the timing is unbelievable. Now Config's gonna start to fall back. I think that's a smart choice, but is he gonna make it in time? Apex blows up to an HE, reloading in the face of that AK-47. What an absolute mess up at the catwalk. Nobody just, I think they all deserve to lose after that. I think so too. Actually, they lose one and one. So, you know what? We'll call it even. Yeah. Move on with our lives. Everyone screwed up. That was um, definitely weird. You're all fired. Oh, JKS. He's blocked by Gun Barrel and still loses the fight. But this is big here for Playmath. Oh. He can be the hero. He can be the hero. Beautiful. Takes the one. Gets the second. 1v2 scenario now. He's got that AWP in play. 35 seconds left on the clock. And he's still trying to figure it out. Where are these guys going? Molly up. Oh, what a shot. I can't believe it. Now, he's got a chance for a jump shot. Uh, yeah, even still, oh, wow. if he wants to do it, it's, it's definitely possible. He's got no grenades or anything. He doesn't actually know it this time. They've already messed up the bomb sites once. Don't do it again. He's committed to the A bomb site. He definitely knows. Smoke is up there. Blame F, does he want to do it? There's the jump, but Nivira, did he see it or not? I'm not sure. Blame F, he's living life on the edge. A couple more steps, and Nivira's going to shoot in the back, and there it is. Double kill for him. And I don't know. That was really, really close, but I don't think Blame F ever knew where Nivira was, and that obviously makes it very tricky. Yeah, that's just an impossible situation, right? No info. Okay, Poison was that far back. I thought Poison was up there um, with Conor, but he was, he was pretty far back in terms of setup, so... A technical... Oh, it's all good now. That's good. We should be good. Oh, they fixed that quick. Nicely done. Moving back in. But yeah. Nivera's kind of... I mean, he's not struggling on an individual level. He's top no. bragging. But it may be that the rest of the team are just struggling to get that, in, you know, him incorporated. So... Right now, I'm not super sure about this gambit. That's kind of why... That's why. It's an element of why I predicted complexity. Is that you know if you start messing around with your roster halfway through a series, yeah, it just I mean, makes me kind of wonder. We just won't know. Well, like, again, like, it's just we just don't have the data on it yet. Like it's, you know, I just I, we, I need to see 20 more games of Vitality on you know on Dust too. Think of how think about how hard it would be to figure out if you just had to do it by stats alone. Mm. You'd have to you'd have to see. Vitality versus complexity, you know, 20 times in a row with Misutra and then 20 times in a row with Nivira, and then you could, like, you know, you could start to break it down. Like, well, how long before that we even have that, you know? Well, I mean, it's, it's like we have this really cool tool. Listen, yeah, but they, they haven't played that much, have they? Oh, JKS! Two big kills, but shocks an RPK with a bit of a return, and now the B bomb site has fallen. It's a three on three. One. It's hard to retake. One more bullet, Anders. Yeah. He runs out of ammo. One more bullet is all it took. That would have been such a monster. One HE grenade in the corner there, and RPK is dead. But how do they know where to throw it? It's going to be in the back, so that won't do anything. And I think now 
the Molotov up, the time that's gone up by. I don't know if they should be doing this. Yeah, I think they're gonna be they're gonna be starting to back up. I don't know. They have the money to buy if they. Uh... Yeah, but is it really yeah. worth? It? Yeah, get in there. Get in it! Shoxy takes the one. Do we have a flank? No, they're both out in the open, and this is not going to happen for Blame FBI, unfortunately. Okay, for a second there, I believe Danders. Some, I, I appreciate that. It's 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 cool to see people try and retake it. It's just so tricky. It, like three on three. I don't know how how people do it. You need you need to be close. You need a lot of grenades. You need that first kill. Well, nine to five. Vitality finding a fifth round, going in the round of a 15, so they have a shot now at getting at least a sixth on the board. So we'll put back in the hands of the CT side. Mm -hmm. Ten rounds possible for complexity, but now it's about grit. You get a deep pool here in this last one. I like it. Perfect flash setup. Fl we'll blame it. They see if he backed off or not. That is huge. Oh, well, this is looking fantastic now. Blame if not going to collect the last one. But RPK gets chunked by that HE, and now it's down to RPK and Shoxy, the last two alive for Vitality. All out aggression from Complexity. And, well, yeah, these guys are just putting their foot down. That way of getting flashed in, I think, what we saw from OG yesterday into the middle, and it worked yeah. really well. And it was cool this time around, too. 10 to 5 in favor of Complexity, looking real good to try and get us that third map. We are going to go to a break, though, before we get into the second half of this one. So we'll be right back. Vitality now on the CT side, complexity on the T side. They just need six more rounds, similar. Surely it is within reach for the uh, for this new version of the of the Juggernaut. Ah, yes. It's been waxed up, Anders. All shiny and chrome and ready to go. Sneaking back into it, he's still fighting. It's not a bad fight, but now the grenades will follow. And he's going to get really flashed. Some. Nice uh, help coming in. Apex trying to see if he could flash and, and buy more time. But JKS had already made it past the perimeter and he was going to take him down. So four versus five. Bomb is going to be going down. Great start for Complexity. Now they don't have any more grenades. They have two P250s and a stolen USP. So they have a lot of firepower. Config's here with one of them. Oh, a little bit of panic and he goes down to RPK. So we're back to a four on four. We are indeed, but Complexity have got all the angles covered now. It's just about keeping their cool and hitting the shots. The firepower favors them still. Oh, Zaiwu catching them out in the open. JKS still going to take down Apex. This is all over the place. Zaiwu, though, chiming in. Picks up another kill of his own. Poison running out of bullets, but it's the same thing. Rush is there to save his teammate. And it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Shoxy versus Rush. No kit. Without the kit, there's just oh, not going to be any time. All right, Anders, I'm really liking the focus that we're seeing on B site from these T sides. Yeah. It just looks like you can set up Everything, all the nade time. He's looking at Nivera. He was blind the entire time. By the time he saw anything, again, they were already out on the site. Yeah. So, I mean, it's uh, it's pretty nasty the way that Complexity can just get all the timings down with their grenades and just push as a unit. And look at this is also ridiculous. Isn't it? Shock, oh, sorry, I'm side we're missing a bunch of kills, but then he hits all of these really tricky ones. He's like missing three free shots essentially, and then he goes and just one taps you right afterwards. So. Bit of a shame. The kit was in the middle, as we saw at the end. So if, if, if not for that, probably would have been so super doable. But um, that's how it goes. Nice double nade onto Poison. 11 to 5, though, and a pretty important pistol round going the way of complexity. Yeah, that was, uh, that was crucial, wasn't it? They need to get that start. Poison's still playing with uh, fire over here. Just a back and forth battle between him and Apex. Nice flash. Of course, Apex back, and there's the Mac 10 from Blameth. Get out of here, Apex. Does that set them up? It does really set them up for that B split if they want. Yeah, they can do almost everything. I mean, again, the biggest danger presumably here is, is either the Deagles or the Scout. If they get into a slow, you know, pick-off type battle where they're sort of like, you know, trying to exchange, which I that should be the conversation for complexity is don't do that. You know, let's let's find the timing let's all go let's not go stand around and have slow fights it's not worth it gonna try and go out long and rpk is up close with the 
MP9. I wonder if he can fall back and the Deagle could chime in. Could be some cool bait and switch going on there if they manage it. There's RPK trying to back up around the corner. Yeah, lure them into shocks. You see the trap is being sprung right here. And it's actually going to be RPK to get the kill, but that was so masterfully done. They're still, in, I mean, the bomb is going to be going down here and it's still a two on three, but you could, you could see that coming before it even happened. I mean, you're not gonna, it's, dude, you're talking about two of the most experienced players competing in CSGO right now. Ooh. You know, between shocks and RPK, they've been around. Oh, oh, there it is. The headshot's coming in. Clean aim from Nivera. And he'll get the defuse as well. But yeah, I mean, that's exactly what I expect out of shocks and RPK. Just working together. You yeah. know, I, you, you, you pull them in, I knock them down. We completely ruin this A split. And that's after a very strong position for complexity at the beginning of the round, taking Apex down. They just happened to go to the bomb site where the three players were instead of going to the bomb site where there was one. Yeah. But it was actually, I mean, the way that RPK started that fight against Blameth, he. Like, his flame has jumped out, and that made it much harder for uh, for RPK to actually try and fall back around the corner. And he still did a, a fantastic job, so really impressive. 11 to 6. Well, we picked up three AKs on the CT side. And there's not much to fight with for complexity, so this is uh, an interesting change. Why has he got a scout, and I don't know why. Can anyone explain that to me? Reasons? Yeah. Maybe he's gonna get a. I mean, he could just get an off drop to him, maybe, if uh, if he could, if he would be so fortunate. I guess, yeah, maybe. I, I mean, there is an added element here, though. If complexity were to lose the Sanders, yes, you would be the team losing to a team with a stand-in, essentially. It's not a stand-in, is he? Well, he's not a stand-in, but you know. Like... Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I just, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna remain completely agnostic about, you know, whether or not. You know, this can work or not. Mm -hmm. Who knows what they've been practicing. Uh, I mean, it's a, it's such an, just so much theory that can that can sort of go both ways, I feel like. Quad kill on RPK. I mean, you can also see the strength of saying, look, Nivira, you're, you're just, you're, you're just going to be the ultimate champion at playing Dust and one other map, and that's it. So you're, you're going to be hyper, hyper specifically focused on that. Mm -hmm. Whereas every other player in the game on a top team have to spread out their knowledge on at least probably six maps. Usually people have one that they don't play or whatever. But let's just say six out of seven maps, you have to you know think about a bunch of things. I again, I, what do you do with chemistry though? What about what? Like chemistry, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Does that is that more important than who knows? Like that's what I'm saying. It's like there's there's so many factors going both ways, and and then again, there's also the theory of it, and then the actual execution of it could be completely different from what you thought you were doing so i'm interested i'm definitely interested don't know if it'll actually pay off but uh, and it's not that i'm not skeptical i'm just saying i want to give it a give it a bit of a runway before i start raining down criticism on it. fair enough but it'll, it'll come one day i'm sure the criticism yeah, yeah. i won't go back if, uh, if it starts to get out of control RPK, definitely spotted behind there. Config, nice shot. And yeah, good communication. Rush definitely knew where he was. And now they're actually taking these fights one at a time, Vitality. That was a super confusing defense that it seemed like they knew that it was coming long and they still acted like they were being caught completely off guard by it. So I don't know about this. Questionable. But, but they don't have the rounds to, or the money to be throwing away rounds like this. So that's a problem. 12 rounds, it's going to be for complexity. What's our final map? Vertigo. All right. We haven't seen that yet. We have in, not uh, seen that yet. This season of Blast, so. No, it's been three days. Um, bunch of Mirage, some Overpass. Yeah. Uh, some Dust, too. But, uh, yeah, getting Vertigo in here, that would be interesting. Vertigo. Definitely going to be a change it up. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Twentieth round, pretty even all across the board. Fight. Apex a little bit further behind, but yeah, everyone else is playing fine at the moment. Mm. Complexity also got everyone on the board. People are playing well. So, question is if they can find a way to unseat complexity for the money and the rifles that they have here, and just generally make them a bit more uncomfortable on the T side. That would be great.
Sniper with that AWP that he's picked up now again. You have to imagine that that... That's the path back to victory. We've seen already what he could do in this in this matchup on new winning rounds alone, basically. So get one or two like that in there, have him just snipe them away. And then it's not looking so grim anymore. Oh, oh. Ah! <laughs> awkward! Oh god, it's absolutely raining, man. Right on top of Saibu. Conflict with two big kills though. RPK. Trying to see if he could maybe help out. He's out in the open, but Nibiru is there to help him out. It's so sketchy. There's a bullet off behind him. He has to move forward. And now it's Shocks versus Poison. One on one with a minute left. Poison, he's inside the smoke right at the edge. And he's going to find the angle. Big double kill there. My God. I just... That was purely chaos in that round. Dude, I see a world where Shocks just whips around and hits him. <laughs> Oh, with that AK, it's way too tense. But yeah, that was just right on top. And that, sh that smoke blooming when it did. Yeah. Was just... You see how Config was shooting through that? Uh-huh. <laughs> Gun go... <brrr>. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. But that is that is a monster round. Oh, that flash timing as well. Not bad. Nicely done with the spawn. Gets out quick, takes that shot, and backs right off. That's Apex out of the picture now for Vitality and Complexity on Dust2. Coming alive. Good shot. Inavira and not Saibu having the AWP. That's interesting. Yeah. Could be based off a of spawn as well. Could be something like that. He does drop a little bit low, but uh, Flame F. He's still going to get the kill on him. Yeah. See if anyone can pick up that AWP on the CT side. It looks like it should be possible. Shock's moving into the middle, and actually he has an M4, so someone else will, and they're, they're all long, so the all can't even really help them. He's going to be walking into the middle, and yeah, easy kill on Rush, still a minute left, so even if that is the bomb, it's not really done yet. Nice shot from Shocks. He's got another two to kill to try and clutch this on his own. I think he knows Blame is there, but he can't adjust in time. He didn't realize he'd gone down the stairs, so nice effort from Shocks. Again, just a glimpse of how lethal he could be. Yeah, man. How freaking expensive are these rounds as well? Just everything. Complexity just dancing on the edge. They keep losing their ops, not saving them, so they're just, their money keeps getting wrecked. But that was such an important round for Vitality. And now, I mean, are you kidding me? They're going to try to play for overtime. They aren't even going for the force. Okay, then. So double scout, Deagle, some Kevlar as well thrown in. Shoxy getting bopped. They're still in this, and that's Config finding Shoxy in the end. Okay. I mean, this is, uh, yeah, so Vitality going for an eco. They're going to try and play for overtime. Straight up. Perfect. Perfect half from here on out for Vitality. That's the name of the game. If it works, if they can put it together, it certainly would be, uh, would be something to write home about. A little bit of a crossfire here, though. RPK is going to move forward a bit early, perhaps. Not quite patient enough. Vera with the Deagle, and he's alone in CT spawn. They're just all waiting for him on the other side. So it's going to be 15 rounds for Complexity. They're going to have a decent bank and Vitality. What are they going to be able to do from here on out? I mean, they've got money to work with. I think that's... that's it's always nice if you want to start some sort of a comeback to at least begin with some money in the bank. Indeed. But... This is a bit of a stretch at the current, uh, at the current pace. Hard to imagine that they could make this work. So far, they've won only two rounds, Vitality, in the second half. And um, contrasted with the five of complexity. So, also something to think about. But they do have the year four one side. Again, I'm stretching that earlier. We didn't really see the impact that I was imagining. Maybe we can. I think he's lucky to be alive there. <laughs> he could have been dead already, Shocks. Now they're going to grenade him. All kinds of grenades. Yeah, but they're overlapping. No, okay, he does get that smoke down to cancel out of Molly. <laughs> no. He doesn't want to back into it, so he stuck around and then HE showed up. Stressful round so far for Shocks. It's a standoff everywhere. Holding on Catwalk, holding outside Long House. Now holding Upper Dark. Complexity, they are slowly rotating back over here, and it is going to be a push for information on Catwalk for Vitality. This is going to be a big fight in just a moment's time for Config. Can he shine? He's so ready. RPK hears it. He hears it, yeah. Not going to happen, though. 
Yeah, I mean, it's smart play from RPK turning around for it. Ooh, and Cyber in the ground. That orb just not been doing what we really wanted here on Dust 2 at all for Vitality. So this is looking grim at the moment. 40 seconds left still. Some wall of smoke up on the other side. Can they get through? They don't have flashbang or anything to try and make this uh, make this jump. A little bit of Molotov damage, I think, on Rush. So that's unfortunate, but they want they want to wait. They want to see if Vitality are going to respond to this. The shocks has gone down. That's over a long, nice spray out of Apex. And Nivira chiming in. How have they turned this? Oh dear, two on four, and they just make it work. That happened so fast. They line up for Apex. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, you can see a little bit of frustration there from Complexity, and rightly so. Look at this. They just line perfectly up for him, and at that point, it's, it becomes an impossible situation. Unreal. After what Config did? After yeah. bopping RPK? Ruining Shoxy's day two? That is hard to believe. That's a hard round to lose if you're complexity. Well, they needed eight rounds in a row, and that was the first of them. It was not an easy round, but it gets, you know, one step in the right direction, one round at a time, all that. Again, pushing into upper dark. Worked last time to get the kill, I think, on config. He's going to take down shocks, though, in middle. But they have information, and again, this position is super valuable. Now what you need is timing for it to actually work out. Ooh, and they're going to get the kill on JKS. Nice return. Shot is there. Zywoo with the clever off angle. Poison, though, he's got him pinned. But there's going to be help from Rivera, and they are going to be able to get out of there. Teamwork makes the dream work, Anders. Managing to survive to fight another day, but it is going to be a quick rotation up the catwalk. Zywoo catches Blame F, and it is all on Russian Poison now. 2v4. Trying to take this fight, not going to be an easy one, but Poison hits the headshot on Apex. That's huge. Really well done. 40 seconds. Even a bomb plant here is actually not that bad for uh, for complexity. I'm sure they're still thinking about winning the round, but there are a lot of grenades on Molotovs, especially on Vitality, so they can land them on the bomb side and they can't really stand anywhere, especially for Poison. It's so rough to try and shoot someone when you still have uh, fire at your feet and you'll be taken down at the end. So. Good round from Poison, but even better for Vitality, winning it up to nine rounds. But at least they got the Bomb Plant. Yeah. Bomb Plant, bonus money, and that's a tough one for Poison. You can see he scopes up and he's looking left and just out of scope range. But still, let's see it. It is, uh, this is like a half by kind of round for Complexity, right? Just put a little bit of money into it, not too much. Playing that's going to go for the Hero AK. I'm still just amazed at how consistent Blame F is with the fragging. I mean, yeah. As an as an IGL, you know, he's still just he's always up there. A config snuck all the way up to 26 kills, which also kind of because normally config's highlights are wild, but many of these have just been you know consistent. One round, you know, get a kill, get a kill, keep going. Yeah, yeah. Still a long road to walk for Vitality without making any mistakes at all. Nivira has got the right idea, I think. Could definitely do something. Now you might want to be a little bit more careful. Now that they know, at least don't stay so that you can get flashed. You can maybe do this where you're just sort of, you know, still at, at a bit of an, an angle to escape. Did see someone there. But ultimately they're all going to make it up the catwalk. And I think uh, that'll just that'll just funnel them in towards Saibu, so. Pick your poison, I guess. Right. Oh, now's the push. And let's see. Zaiwu gonna back off. Gonna play for retake here. Yeah. I do like it. You got superior firepower. You got the nades as well. You're gonna be able to make your lives real easy when it comes onto this bomb site. Apex getting a bit ahead of himself, but he will find that headshot on config. So already a man advantage for Vitality going into the retake. Poison up close. Apex gets a second. Another one. They don't have any grenades, Vitality. That actually makes this retake really scary. If they end up just having to peek conflict, oh sorry, Blame F a bunch of times, that could get horribly wrong. Blame F, look at it, more kills, finally grenade will take him down, but now it's on JKS. One versus three, if they had any other grenades, they could take care of him right now, but they have to face him and fight him, and they nearly lined up! Oh, wow, what a nightmare. <sighs> Again, one smoke or a Molotov or any, anything like that would have, would have made that very easy. They just got the job done. 15 to 10, 26th round. Some real focus here from uh, Vitality. Yeah, but it must still be 
you know, we're saying they need they need like eight flawless rounds in a row, and the first two they've won are like <laughs> barely, barely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they're squeaky. I mean, dude, it's a long ask. Yeah, it's a very, uh, yeah, it's a stretch. It feels so much better for them if if Navira and Cyber with this double up just you know sniped you know one one player each at the beginning of the round and just kept working and you're like it's so good you know we're just ru cruising through right. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of round they love. But RPK counter flashed through to try and retake long up was it? It's gonna be config trying to run through the smoke, but they just get slaughtered out here. And that's so interesting. Normally the fight. It tends to happen at that long corner with everyone just, you know, standing their ground and fighting. But this is actually Vitality not being there at all and just saying, you can use whatever grenade you want at the beginning. And then once you put up that smoke that he's always throw to that uh, the long corner, we're going to flash our way through and, and come take you. That's a cool idea. I don't think I've seen that that often, actually. We see retakes of, of CT positions on a bunch of maps. I mean, think about, like, Banana or on Inferno, right? People retake top Banana all the time, but... Haven't seen it too much on a All right. Ah, the rifle's there. Styling on him. He's trying to create a little highlight for himself. That would have been sick. Hey, you got that off. You're always, uh, you know, it's always possible. But okay. Rush B. Rush B. YOLO. Get it done. Get, tech get some nades in there. Exactly. Get some nades in there. Get some uh, some tech nines. Just YOLO on they got the, the site. They got the spawn for it. Yeah, they actually really do. They got uh, they got a really good spawn for it. Just go complexity. Trust. Have one one guy run down middle to throw grenades just so that you know. Davai. Not everyone is looking at the the B hallway. Harosh, Davai. They got the yeah exactly. They got the tech now and rush. I feel it. You feel it, right? Yeah, yeah. dude. They've got this. It's meant to be. Tense now. <laughs> yeah, uh, this is the this is it. After a timeout, they've elected to go for a half no, buy here, complexity, and it is not looking like it is going to be a B rush. Sadly, so we got all excited for nothing, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah, you wanted blood, and blame I've said no. Don't blame us. Blame them. Yes. Not awful. We would. We're trying. We're rooting. We're rooting for the, the classic B rush. Yeah, the commentators are just biased for rushes and violence. That's yeah, slow play. Not, it's not. That's for analysts. <laughs> <laughs> we don't care about those things. Listen, all I care about is just watching Menu. Like, I'm going to pay Pimp to just be recording Matthew after this. <laughs> Maniac, you know? Just like another loss. <laughs> <laughs> well, so he's not done yet, is it? No. Not done yet. You're right. At this answer. point, he'd just be, he'd be on the third map with the rest of us. So. Yeah, just pulling out that hair. Nice grenade that landed on the, on the catwalk. That means they're going to be back. They double smoking middle. And then they're going to go for it, surely. There is a boost up on the other side, so I think Apex could stand up and look over one of these smokes. And then with the crossfire from Shocks, I think this is a great way to try and counter what's coming next. Shocks does go down. It's a little bit awkward. Nivira, though, will try and make up for it. He's up in the window, I think, with the AWP. Well, now he's actually outside. They forgot about Blamef, and he'll find a kill before he does get taken down. No bomb pack, because that is right behind Nivira, so they forgot. One of the elements, certainly one of the ingredients for what they were doing here. That's a cool idea. I think that that could have worked a bunch of different ways. I don't know if they would necessarily win the round, but I just think that was well thought out by complexity. I agree. Just getting in there, but this is the round. The big one. Full buy, both sides. Double op on Vitality. Single op so far on complexity. And they are going to have all the nades. The kit and caboodle landers. This is it. I mean, they're getting within striking distance here, Vitality. Certainly. Yeah. It's, it's building. Pressure is going to be mounting on complexity, too. I mean, you had such a lead that you got to be thinking, come on, how have we not ended this already? Shock's getting tagged in the middle, though. That has to be annoying. Yeah, they're going to make him up instead. Makes sense. I like it. Shocksy is a uh, renaissance man. He can do it all. Yeah, he really can. All right, mid control, holding long, not keeping an eye on upper dark so much at the moment. There's been a fair few upper dark pushes coming out from Vitality, so it's certainly something that Complexity should keep. I think JKS is turning around every once in a while to look, but it's a risk nonetheless. Yeah, he's holding it just for a second there. Very mid and B focused defense right now for Vitality. And that, I think, is partly a reflection of the trust that they have in Cyborg over at that car on long. 
thinking if it can't be, we probably have almost three people. If they go long, we got Saibu. It's almost the same as having three people. It's all good. 40 seconds now. If they go for it here, how's that going to be playing out? They'll run into shocks and then orb first. And he is low on health, so I mean, a grenade or something could still do a lot of damage. Flashbangs are in 25 seconds, and Shock goes down a single bullet. Nivira has way too many targets on the other side. And now they need to be really, really careful. If Apex dies, I think that might be it. I kind of understand. He wants to sneak away a kill, and then they could go for the retake three on three, but he just overstepped the mark a little bit. So now it's on RPK and Cyber 2 versus 4. These retakes on the B bomb side, when you're down two men, almost never happen. It would be nothing short of a miracle. And Saibu will pick up JKS first. He goes down next an RPK. Going to be found by Poison, and that makes it 16-12. And Complexity push us on to the third map on Vertigo. This series, I felt like, deserved a third map. I think it's yeah. going to be really, really exciting. Some uh, great showings all across the board here for, for both teams. So I just want to see more of it, and uh, I bet you guys do as well. And you will but mostly after the break. That's going to be coming up. Uh, up.